welcome back to Tech2. Our Mobile World Congress Top 20 Cell Phone Countdown continues. And our top five phones are... It wouldn't be an exaggeration to say that Nokia has finally decided to cater to the man on the street at Barcelona. The Nokia 6210 Navigator is their flagship GPS-enabled mobile device with an integrated compass for pedestrian guidance. That means numerous alleyways and lanes won't leave you with that lost feeling. The phone comes with Nokia Maps 2.0 and includes full voice and visual turn-by-turn -turn guidance. The inbuilt accelerometer measures changes in direction and orientation, making it easy to follow the map while strolling about instead of having to turn the phone in all directions. Car navigation is also made simpler with the pre-installed one-touch navigation, full voice guidance and self-mount car kit on the new Nokia 6210. The phone will be launched in select markets towards the end of this year at a very competitive price. And the best part is that you can use this device even without a SIM card. <laughs> the SGH U900 dubbed the Soul by Samsung is a thin slider and part of Samsung's Ultra Edition 3 series. Excellent form factor of part, the heart warmer is the mini touchscreen with dynamic icons that change depending on what you're doing. For example, if you're listening to music, the icons change to play, stop and other related functional keys. But this touch feature stops short of being brilliant as one has to hold the icons down almost till uh, hell freezes over. Anyway, browsing and other functions are decent enough. Ultimately, it's a high-end slider phone with nothing really new to harp about. But the excellent build, the high-speed data support, the 5 megapixel camera and the fast network form a thick enough silver lining. At number 3, finally the bar of all N-series phones got an upgrade. Out goes the N95, in comes the all-new N96. Like the 95, the N96 has a 2.8-inch screen, but the memory got much bigger with 16 gigs of internal memory. That's more than my old PC. Anyway, the phone supports a wide range of formats for videos. In select markets, the integrated DVB or digital video broadcasting receiver offers live broadcast TV with an automatically updating program guide. You can store up to 40 hours of video with the expandable memory option offering even more. The phone also features a mini prop stand that allows hands-free viewing. Much needed. For audio slaves, the N96 features media keys and built-in 3D stereo speakers. The Nokia Maps 2.0 application offers much richer maps than the old 1.0 version and new options such as turn-by-turn -turn pedestrian mode and voice-guided car navigation. At number two, we finally have a Microsoft Windows mobile-based phone. But surprise, who's making it? Sony Ericsson with the Xperia X1. This is the first time that Sony has abandoned its partly-owned Symbian operating system in favor of Microsoft's Windows. The focus shifting from the operating system to user interface means that the slider features a patented nine-panel interface apparently designed with Windows in mind. The highlight of the handset is the sliding mechanism which unlike other sliders tilts up a bit. The X1 features a 3 inch touch sensitive screen for navigation, sort of like an optical joystick. But if you'd rather not smudge the screen then there's always the good old D-pad to rely on. Really cool design, 3.2 megapixel camera and 3G support mean that it's a phone worth waiting for even if it's only going to come out by the end of the year. If you're the type who keeps changing your phone every few weeks and is never satisfied, you might want to buy a Modu in the future. That's what the manufacturers are suggesting and we kind of agree with them. Modu, or short for modular, is a new type of phone which is basically a teeny weeny device with just the bare necessities. Not good enough reason to buy it? Well, you just fit one of these into the custom made jackets and voila, it turns into whatever you want it to be. The key is that these jackets, which could vary from being digital cameras to photo frames to GPS devices, have to have a socket custom made for a Modu to fit in. Drop the device into the desired jacket, 
say a smartphone jacket or a flashy designer type jacket and modu will function accordingly so don't deceive yourself by the size of the modu just look at what the jackets are capable of doing whatever the device modu saves the data which means you don't have to worry about syncing when you change devices the phone has 1 gigabyte of memory which is expandable to 16 gb with a micro sd card and the operating system is a new one called nucleus though it uses a relatively slow gprs for data we still think that the concept of the modu rocks speaking of which where exactly is sagar Well, those were the top 20 cell phone launches from Mobile World Congress. We enjoyed bringing this coverage to you. I hope you have enjoyed watching it as much. But now it's time for me to enjoy the legendary nightlife of Barcelona. Until next week, adios, amigos.